Hello everybody, got a little bit of a different video for you today. Since everybody seems to like the restaurant chain videos, I decided I would do a video on the most overrated restaurant chains in America. And it turns out some of these are some of the fastest growing in America currently. And what I mean by overrated is just the overall public perception or the size or growth rate of these places is such that really doesn't add up when the overall food and restaurant experience is taken into account. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with Domino's Pizza. This chain somehow has managed to achieve over 6,700 locations in America and over 18,000 in the world. So Domino's started in the 60s in Michigan and expanded very well with franchising, but not with good pizza. I really don't know how or why because this is some of the blandest and most unimpressive pizza I have ever had in my life. If you can't get it fresh, don't bother. Maybe it's just because they're cheap. Maybe it's because they're convenient. I don't really know, and I don't know how they ever got this big. So as to why this one's overrated, it's not really because it's perceived as being one of the best. It's just somehow people thought it was good enough where it was able to expand to such a large size. Don't be fooled by its size as one of the top five largest chains of pizza in America. Next we have Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. This is a relatively newer fast food chain only being founded in 1996. It has over 700 locations and is growing very quickly. You know, the food is good, it's fresh usually, and the restaurants are pretty much all new, well decorated. I don't know if it's because there just aren't enough locations in a lot of places yet, but the menu is incredibly limited. It's basically chicken fingers, chicken fingers, or a sandwich with chicken fingers in it. Maybe people really think that their sauce is something special, but in reality, chicken fingers and Texas toast is not something that particularly stands out in the restaurant world. Next is what is definitely the most overrated hot dog chain, not just in America, but probably the entire world, and that is Nathan's Famous. They don't have a huge footprint out there as far as brick and mortar restaurants, with 218 locations as of a few years ago, but this chain, which began in 1916's hot dogs, are also available in tens of thousands of stores when their grocery selection is counted. And these hot dogs are very, unimpressive given the name recognition that this company somehow gets. It's not to say that it's bad, but it certainly does not live up to the name. I've certainly had many better hot dogs than Nathan's, and the only reason that this company is so popular and around everywhere really, I think, is just because of the competition that they have every year. It's really amazing how such a mediocre hot dog could become so popular just based on a once a year competition. That and the fact that they started in Coney Island and have that famous location there, really not impressive, really underwhelming. Next on this list we have our first burger chain, and that is Shake Shack. Again, a relatively new company, was founded in 2001 and reached just under 450 locations worldwide as of last year. This is another one that's growing very fast. I don't really understand why. It's very expensive for what you get. The portions are not all that impressive. The restaurants are cool and modern looking, but it's like, so? But I don't understand why this is considered one of the best. I mean, it really is just on par with maybe slightly above the McDonald's Wendy's realm of hamburger restaurants. So if this one hasn't reached you yet, I wouldn't get too excited because it really just doesn't stand apart from other places like Five Guys or Dairy Queen or whatever. And number one has to be In-N-Out Burger. Where do I begin? This is probably the most average fast food I have ever seen or experienced given the amount of crowds and media obsession there is with this place. It started in the late 40s in California and has around 400 locations, and it's growing quickly. That doesn't mean it's that great. The best part I would say about this place is the price. The prices are very good for what it is, but the food is very average. They have a sauce that I guess everybody acts like is so great, but again, part of their shtick is that the menu is very simple, so 
you pretty much just get the same thing every time there. The food is average. I would not put it above Five Guys. It's certainly much cheaper than Five Guys, but the quality is just maybe slightly above average. So given the amount of press and the way people just rally around this place like it's one of the last places to eat on Earth, I gotta say, for what it is, limited menu and all, it's got to be the most overrated fast food place in the country right now in 2024. So there's the five. Let me know what you think, and thank you for watching.